Greetings fellow Cybertronians, and welcome to Read Along with Bartatron, the show where I read along with my favorite Transformers comic books. The goal of this program is to promote reading for all ages, along with sharing my love for everything Transformers. If you do not already own this issue, I recommend you purchase a copy provided in the links below and read along with me. With that said, we have a huge issue to cover this episode, so let's roll out. The Transformers Autocracy, issue number 7. Story by Chris Metzen and Flint Dill. Art by Livio Romandelli. Letters by Sean Lee. Editors John Barber and Carlos Guzman. Previously on the Transformers. Long ago, on the planet Cybertron, as Decepticon forces rise up to battle the Autobot leadership, Orion Pax leads a counter-terror strike team. After tracking down a mysterious bomber named Hot Rod, Orion and his team learn Autobot leader Zeta Prime has been draining the energy of the civilian population of Nyon to power his vampire weaponry. And when Zeta's forces attack, Hot Rod is forced to destroy the city he had vowed to protect. But even that desperate move doesn't stop Zeta from beating Pax to the ground. Autocracy Chapter 7 Choices The outskirts of Nyon, Zeta Prime, Orion Pax, Officers of the Law. It truly pains me, Orion, that after all your long cycles of service, you should die here as a traitor amidst the ashen wreckage. Crablam! What? Who dares? Who else, Prime? Decepticons, protect the Autobots at all costs. Leave Zeta to me. Megatron, not even in my wildest dreams did I expect to crush this insurgency. And rid myself of you at the same time. Zat! Lord Megatron, watch out! Fitting then, with these wretched dissidents to bear witness, that I end you with a weapon as ruthless as you are. I know all about your vampark ribbon, Zeta. How it drains the energon from those around you. But I'm wondering. Wait, what are you? Please, no! Crying! Just how much it takes to overload. No, no, Zat! Too much energy. What have you done? Now you'll have to lose your pretty cannon, or risk it frying your posi conductors. What do you say, Prime? Ready to face me in a fair fight? Damn you, coward! This isn't over, Zeta. I'll make a long career out of killing primes! <sighs> Gather these Autobots and bring them back to base. Astro Train, assume shuttle mode and get us out of here. Later, Cole Kular, Decepticons HQ. Never thought I'd thank a Decepticon for saving my life. Given the current state of affairs, your survival was... logical. Not entirely sure what that means. It means we have great things to accomplish together, Orion. Plus, we never got to finish our conversation. You were right. About Zeta, about Nyon, everything. I assure you, it's only just beginning. But there's still time to... That's a curious recess within your chest housing. Planning an upgrade? Get to your point, Megatron. My point, Orion, is that it's time to fill that chasm within your core with a new mission, a new purpose. What? Conquest? Justice. Together we can bring down Zeta and his autocracy. 
You've seen the proof with your own optics. How could I possibly trust you? Ask yourself. Do you even have a choice? You expect us to believe we can leave at any time? Of course! Megatron only wished to consult with your leader. He's a stubborn wreck if you ask me. This had better be on the level, Starscream. You're in no position to make threats, Autobot. Yeah, but I am. Make a move, punk. You just killed yourself, old-timer. Stop! Deliberations are concluded. You will all follow me. Sure, no problem. Can't wait to see what all the fuss is about. Another time, Autobot. Count on it. Moments later. I can't believe you're really considering this, Orion. You and me both. But the madness, the destruction, it all has to end somehow. I wanted to lead my people to freedom, but all I brought them was death. Leadership is making hard choices, Hot Rod. The price we pay is carrying the guilt, the loneliness, self-doubt. You give it your all, but sometimes it seems like the world just gets darker. You faced an impossible situation, and you did what you had to do. You had the strength to make the choice. Just as I do now. To be continued. That's all for this episode of Read Along with Bartatron. I hope you've enjoyed your time with me. Please leave your thoughts and suggestions down in the comment box and go ahead and click the thumbs up and subscribe buttons while you're at it. This is Bartatron of the Cybertron Data Network signing off. Till all are one. See you next time.